Uh, thanks very much for everyone attending today after the game uh, for the 2022-23 Player of the Season Awards and also recognition of some other people uh, within the club. So I think there's seven awards to go through. Um, so there's someone that will present each award as we go through. Um, but first of all, please put your hands together and welcome uh, Mark Palios, who's going to talk a little bit about the season. I'm not going to say too much about the season. Um, no, listen, uh, for me uh, and Nicky, this is the first season that we've been uh, in a position whereby we've had nothing to play for. I say nothing to play for, but, uh, you know, as you lads know, uh, you play for your own pride, you play for the club's pride, and I think today you did both for yourselves and the club pride, because I thought it was great. I mean, these are the guys who have gone up automatically, uh, and I thought we'd have better side for most of the game. Uh, the problem is the refereeing is, is what I left behind me at the FA, and uh, they still can't see a penalty when there is a penalty, but well, that's the problem. Listen, um, the season's been difficult at times, but you know, we've had a lot of young lads, we've had injuries, uh, we didn't quite do all the signings we wanted to make in the window. Uh, but for me, I, I look at it and say, uh, it's a season whereby we've had some great games. You know, we gave Newcastle United uh, their hardest game in the, well, I, I call it the League Cup, uh, except, for, except for the final. Uh, they brought an ex quite just over £100 million pounds worth of talent uh, to quiet us down. And then at the end of the game, the last 10 minutes, they were doing what these lads were doing against you, which uh, the goalkeeper was getting cramp and stuff like that, which I, 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 I find it amazing. He's obviously doing a lot of running in the tunnel at half time. But um, listen, it's a credit to you guys. Some of the games we've had, some of the football we played, I think it's been fantastic. It's a credit to the staff. Um, if I just mention the staff and the staff changes, we've got, uh, I think, for, certainly for next season, uh, a great group of guys, and I said to Nicky the other day that, you know, I'd really like to go and work with those guys, they're, they're great lads. Uh, we've added Danzi to the team, and, and um, I think the staff team will, will, will give the lads a hard game next next season. Uh, but I, for me, I think it's, it's important that everybody recognises that uh, when we get into the season, it's not just about you know, a manager sitting there on his own. It's about the team behind the team supporting the manager, and that's one of the things we've been trying to do. So, Nigel's has come in, uh, next teammate of mine, but that, that's nothing to do with it. Uh, he's a he's a good guy, experienced guy. Dorsey shows. I mean, you lads know uh, what he's like in terms of a coach. He's a good coach, great coach. Hopefully, eventually. Um, and today he was, you know, congratulations, Dorsey. I thought the team did you proud today in terms of your your debut as a manager. Um, a little Sam, where are you? Get along the set of studs, mate. <laughs> I did about two. Um, but listen, no, for me, it's 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 always a pleasure to come to the end of the season things. And unusually for us, it, it is the end of the season. Uh, normally we've been in the playoffs, but uh, I think some of the performances here tonight will be recognised today, hopefully, uh, by by the awards that are given out. They're fantastic. I've just got to give one award out, uh, which you'd be pleased about, uh, and that is um, the, 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 the Norman Wilson Award. Norman, for those of you who don't know, was uh, a club secretary here, and um, part of my life I was an insolvency practitioner. I know that what he did was illegal, uh, but he, he helped the club. <laughs> he actually kept some cash away from the administrator, aside from the, from the board, so it could be given to the administrator to keep the club going. Uh, but Norman was a fantastic, a fantastic uh, servant of the club. So this award is one that goes to somebody else who's been, during the course of their sort of volunteering really, uh, a fantastic servant to the club. And this is the second time today that I'm going to have to give it to you, my friend Richie. So Richie, come forward please. from the FA came and we had the England women's game on. Yes. Do I mention that? Yeah, you can do. Were you there then that night? Oh, yeah. Were you there then that night? We yeah. played the national anthem of Belgium, which was fantastic. We've done really well. Uh, I don't, what was the record you played when we should have played the national anthem of England? Oh, uh, a stupid one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a very lively one and the England players didn't know exactly what to do. And I was slightly embarrassed with my FA friends that we didn't quite play the national anthem. but. 
Over, was it no, 30, 39 years? 39 years. Yeah, of one mistake. And he wasn't even there, apparently. I think it's fantastic. He's actually old enough, he actually saw me play. Yes. He did, a long time ago. I introduced but, you. <laughs> somebody's to blame. There you go. <laughs> Thanks very much. Everything you did. Thank you everybody. Have a great 39 years and I'm sure whoever takes over is going to do just a good job because Mark's going to buy a new PA. <laughs>
So if you get the award yeah. there, Oliver. So on, on this piece of paper is the name. It's not like the Brit Awards, there's no nomination, so you just read out the name. So the winner of the My Care, My Home, Man of the Match Award for 22-23 is... Jordan Temple. Give it up for Jordan Temple. Okay, round of applause for Oliver and Jordan. Well okay, so we've got some footage now for goal of the season.
big round of applause for Rich Hughes. Thanks, Rich, and well done, uh, Rhys. Okay, so the last award uh, is Player of the Season. So this is, again, a fan's vote um, who's voted for the Player of the Season over the 22-23 campaign. So um, if Polly is going to present this, if Polly can come back up. Big round of applause for Polly. Give you the right piece of paper, sir. Okay, so the, um, the winner of the... Player of the season, as voted for by the fans, is... Josh Hawks. Yeah. Josh Hawks. <laughs>